Today's Black History Maker featuring Jesse Sims. Welcome to Today's Black History Makers. I am so excited to be here. I am your host, Sherry Leopold, and I am also the host of Outside the Box with Sherry Leopold. Today, it's my honor to celebrate one of Today's Black History Makers, and this is Jesse Sims, and he is the president and founder of NetVolutions Technology Group. Thank you for being with us today, Jesse. Thank you so much, Sherry. It's my pleasure being here with you today. Oh, and, and I'm so happy to talk with you because as the CEO of Dream Big with Sherry, I'm always interested in learning how other people dream big and think big. And as a fellow dreamer, I'd love to know what your big beyond imagination dream is to impact the world. You know, having been in IT now for 20 plus years, um, I've had a lot to do with, with, uh, with technology. And so I'm, uh, my goal is to build an international managed services uh, provider network uh, that reaches around the world globally and um, working exclusively with small to medium sized businesses that don't realize that uh, the big technologies that are leveraged by these enterprise organizations can be used uh, at the small to medium sized business market. Uh, there's so much technology out there and there's, there's so many opportunities. And, uh, and my big audacious, hairy goal is to really work with uh, these small to medium sized businesses and help them to compete. And uh, having worked with technology from Hawaii um, all the way out to Venezuela and from Canada all the way down to Mexico, having been there and, and helped them with um, uh, bringing those technologies uh, in, um, I know that I can help them uh, achieve their big audacious goals. I love that. And obviously that is impacting the world already. I just see that just growing and growing for you. So as you obviously are already making history today as we speak, what Black historic trailblazers have inspired your journey and paved the way for your success? Uh, from a professional level, I, I think of um, Roy Clay. Um, he worked for uh, HP and was really instrumental in helping people of color achieve their dreams and also um, worked with the, their first uh, uh, PC, helped them bring that on, um, helped with uh, developing that platform and, and bringing that to market, and, uh, and really just did a, a lot of great things for, uh, for, for HP and, and developing that market. Um, and then from a personal level, um, I go back to the time where um, I was growing up in the inner city of San Francisco. My former scoutmaster, uh, his name uh, is um, uh, Sabri Musawir. He's now passed. Um, but um, growing up in the inner city of San Francisco is just a tough time for, for any, uh, any young black man. And there was just trouble at every turn. And, and uh, he was a, a drill sergeant. Um, in the uh, in the U.S. Air Force, and he brought that same level of discipline uh, to us as young men. Uh, he would look at us and make sure that our shirts uh, were were properly tucked in, that our gig line was straight, where the uh, the uh, the buttons would line up with the trouser zipper, uh, that our shoes would be shined, that um, that we would be doing. Uh, things and with excellence. Uh, he he did a lot of things to make sure that we understood um, that in today's world, uh, we had to be above and beyond. We had to go above and beyond and really push uh, to make sure that, uh, uh, that, that we were um, what we should be. Um, so he did a, a lot just to make us uh, uh, professionals. And, and I really appreciated that. I like to uh, say yeah. that it, it, that's he understood the power of how, is how you show up, you go up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, uh, so much so, right? And um, and then the other is is my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom really just knows how to love people. Being a single parent um, in the inner city in San Francisco was just no small task, and she would work nights um, and be gone all night so that she could be available for us. Uh, during the day, make sure that we got to school, uh, make sure that we did our homework, uh, make sure that um, you know we we um, 
uh, showed up every single day and, uh, and gave me my real competitive edge. And then she just knows how to love people. And, um, and because, uh, because of that, I know that a, a lot of the tenacity that I experience now in my life and bring into my business is because of the tenacity that I saw in my mom. Oh, I love that. Oh, to be taught to love big. It's just so important. So obviously you're already making history today, Jesse, but if we fast forward 50, 75 years, from now, what is it somebody is going to be saying about the impact that you've had on them, your legacy? How is it that you that you want to be remembered? Uh, I want to be remembered on for people. Um, I care about people, and I want to invest my life in the lives of others. Um, uh, what what we do from a professional standpoint, that kind of comes and goes, and somebody will come up behind and and take technology to another level at some year, and uh, so that's just what it is. But as far as um, as far as me, I want to be remembered on how I how I invested in the lives of others and how I made others feel. And uh, there are so many times that you can take uh, names, right? You can say like the name Martin Luther King Jr. As soon as you say that name, um, there is a, a something that comes about how you feel about them. Yes, there is a professional legacy, but it's also how they made you feel. I could say the name Donald Trump, and immediately there is a uh, you'll get a sense of the personality, of the feeling, of how they made you feel about certain things. And and I could go on down the list of, of people and their names, um, and that's what I want to be remembered for. Oh, and I love that because you are making that impact literally all over the world already. And I can see your heart. And uh, that is one of the reasons why you are today's Black History Maker, because you are showing up with that big heart. I thank you, Jesse, for being a guest today. If somebody wants to reach out to you, maybe they have a small or medium sized business and they're looking to up level in that. How would they reach out to you, Jesse? Yeah, so um, NetVolutions, um, we, I want to make sure that you understand what we do, and that is we supply, we supply technology for the small to medium-sized business from the help desk all the way up through complete total cloud computing uh, networks, business networks in the cloud, and we manage everything in between. And, uh, and so anybody that would like to, to reach out to me, they can reach out to me personally. I'll give you my direct line. And that's 951-350-1584. And my personal email is jesse at netvolutions.net. And Sherry, anybody that contacts us um, and references your name, this show, then I'll make sure that they get a, a network assessment for them on us. Oh, uh, that's so generous of you. Thank you, Jesse. As I said, your heart is showing. So thank you so much for, for being with us today in this episode of today's Black History Makers. Until the next episode, we'll, we'll see you soon.